You shouldn't let those two guys alone in the space center. This is not necessarily accurate, but that's okay. It's very entertaining. I'm Mike Massimino, a former astronaut. I flew in space twice on the space shuttle to the Hubble Space Telescope on both of my missions. I also was the first person to tweet from space. Mike Judge and I have had different conversations over the years about some of those experiences. I started watching uh, Beavis and Butthead when it first came out decades ago and thought it was hilarious. I, I think if you told me at that time that someday I would fly in space, I'd be excited, but if you told me that I would be involved with a Beavis and Butthead movie, I would probably be even more excited about that. So I'm very happy to be a part of the movie and to get a chance to see some of these scenes. I'll let you know what I think. Okay, but here we are. So there is space camp in Houston, which I don't think exists, <laughs> but that's okay. It says Johnson. <laughs> oh gosh. To my right here is a model of the entry port of Russia's Mir space station, where we're gonna have to execute a very difficult docking maneuver. That is unlike any docking device I have ever seen, ever. I have never seen anything like that. Now, the fun stuff. Orbital mechanics. Come on. <laughs> the fun stuff. <laughs> Everybody who scores have to do this. I never went to space camp, but I got a feeling it's not exactly like that. Zero gravity training that they went through in an airplane, we do that for sure. And it can uh, make you nauseous. We have these really good vomit bags that actually have a shroud over them even. They can kind of bury your head in there because you don't want anything getting loose because everything floats. My favorite part of the movie is the launch countdown. I really am happy actually to see the space shuttle remembered here. They're wearing orange space suits like we used to wear. And uh, to me, it's kind of nostalgic in some ways. Man, well, listen to that voice of mission control. That is wonderful. Who is that? The voice of mission control. I got, you know, that was my part in this movie. And they just asked me questions about what it's like to be a part of a crew and some of the things that astronauts might say. Sunrise over Mother Earth. Incredible, isn't it? how they might set this up, what they might have in the payload bay. One of the things I like is to do not touch. I think I told them some annoying things that astronauts might do to each other. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness! It would be easy to blame our predicament on the mistakes of two absolute idiots. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad you said it, not us. <laughs> yeah, really. Where'd you find these two dumbasses? <laughs> no, you! I'm clearly talking about you! Oh, there he's got... Oh! Oh! Poor Beavis and Butthead. We only have enough oxygen for five people to make it home alive. Ooh. There is absolutely no way you're going to stay out there for more than... More than, what are they having, five or six days? There's no way. I think there are some similarities. Uh, like we did fly a space shuttle. We did have a robotic arm. We did work with telescopes. We wore blue flight suits. Other than that, I think it's just fun, silly humor. I think I know what kind of hole this is. It's a butthole. I really enjoyed the, what I've seen so far of the movie. I'm looking forward to see the rest of it. Thanks, Mike Judge, for, uh, for making it and everyone else on your team. You can watch the full movie, Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe on Paramount+. Plus.